Hello, and this is my routine for surviving almost every night in the rake. It usually works for me all the time. Now, this part's optional, but when you first join the game, stay on this loading screen until it becomes daytime, because you don't want to be caught in the middle of the night with no supplies whatsoever. So when it becomes daytime, quickly as possible, join the game. Next, what you're going to want to do is go to the shop. You might get lucky and spawn next to it, but it won't take too long to find it if you don't. Now, what you're going to want to do, go to the shop, grab your game pass crap if you have any, I have the night vision goggles. And then go to the safe house, which is a straight shot southwest from the shop, which is this way. The power station is right next to the safe house, so if you accidentally end up there, just go left and you'll be there. Once you're in there, grab the walkie-talkie. Now you're not going to stay in the safe house the whole night, it's more of a temporary shelter. Once you're in there, get to know the people who might be in there with you. And make sure to tell them what I'm going to tell you later, if you want to keep them safe as well. Now if you're going to want to save power, don't close the door until it says survive the night when it becomes nighttime, because that's around the time when the Rake comes out of his cave. Now you don't really need to watch in the daytime if you recognize the music and the tone of it. If it gets to a tone like this, then that's how you know when the day is almost over. It's all about the music. For nighttime, it's different. Speaking of cameras, I wouldn't fully advise getting said cameras because, well, if you look into the cameras, you're not going to be able to move and the rake could be behind you and that's a perfect opportunity for him to get you. I suppose they are fine if they're in the safe house, but it's kind of difficult because if the rake sees any cameras that are filming him, he'll destroy them. I don't know if it's only in the classic edition or not, but I'm not taking any chances. Now what you're going to want to do is let everyone know to not make any noise, use their flashlight, and make sure to hide in the corner. Hide in the corner because the rake will check the windows to make sure if anyone's in there. If you use the flashlight, then I'll just give you all away. If you make noise, well, he can hear. By some miracle that they listen to you, you should be fine for now. This kind of depends on how many people are in said safe house. But the safe house is usually the rake's first priority because there's a lot of people in it and that's a lot of targets for him. Still, be careful, make sure it's pitch black in there and silent. Try to go as long as you can without him seeing you. But as you can see, I'm not with the best group of people right now. Once he's at the safe house, he's gonna look around the windows and walk around and jump around the house. You could also hear him sniffing. That's how you know that is not a player because he pretends to be a player so you could let him in. That's a trick. Don't move, but he will chip away at the boards and it's almost guaranteed that he'll see you. Yeah, of course these idiots think it's okay to turn on the light. Once he sees you, don't wait for other people's reaction. Get out of the safe house and just book it. Don't look behind you and don't stop running until the music is stopped. If you have night vision, make sure it's on and look behind you because he could still be following you. If he's not, you can turn it off and pull out your flashlight. If you haven't already, find your way to the border of the map because that's one of the safest parts of the map. And just make sure to get the heck out of there. Get away from the safe house, especially if there's other people there. You could still be getting the people who didn't run. And this is crucial. Always check behind you. Every three to four seconds is what I would advise, but I just do it every one to two seconds because, well, it's not called paranoia. Something's actually out to get you. And basically just do this for the rest of the night. Check behind you every few seconds, and when someone comes to follow you, just let them follow you. But if someone runs up to you, be careful because they could be leading the rake right to you. Um, don't be an idiot like it, that guy. Don't go up to the tower and blast the lights everywhere. The rake will definitely notice. And the tower is kind of a death trap. He can sneak up there and just insta-kill you. But even if there is someone up there, don't bother going up there and asking them to stop. It's, you're just putting yourself at risk.
obviously if the rake screams in one direction and, if it, and it's coming from the direction you're going of course turn around by all means you, what you really want to do is just stay as far away from him as possible and just do this for the rest of the night until it becomes daytime Once it's daytime, obviously, go to the shop. Once you're there, get the watch and only the watch. Yes, you will have other points to spend, but you're going to want to save up for the tracker later. It's really important whether you're a night vision user or not. And remember to sell your scrap metal. Then just go back to the safe house and do the same thing you did last night. Bro, what else do you expect me to do? He's gonna break in anyway. He breaks into the safe house, how else am I gonna get away? Well, at least be grateful I let it away from you. Again, not with the best group of people. If the people you're with think they know everything about the game, then just don't let them know. Let them take care of themselves if they think they're so smart. Yet they proceed to use their flashlight. I don't care if they want to kill the rig, I just want to survive over here. If you're in the safe house and there's a power outage, don't hesitate to leave the safe house. The door is wide open, you're practically inviting the rake in. Just go right to looping the map borders. Oh, is that a- is that a dude? Um... Are you downed? Um... It doesn't look like it. Um... Alright, bye. Oh, oh, that dude's friend died. The guy who's making fun of me for running. That's what happens when you stick around in the safe house during a power outage. I found a flare. Don't shoot it till daytime because if you shoot a flare at nighttime, then that that's stupid. It attracts the rake and you're just dead in seconds. I wouldn't advise bothering too much about looking for the crate unless you're really wanting to get a stun stick or a UV light or something. 
Just go on to the shop. And that is when you buy a tracker. And yeah, just basically just do that routine every night until you get enough survivals to your heart's desire. I hope this helped. Um, this is a tutorial for beginners, so you probably already know this stuff if you're like a professional at the rake. I'm not a professional, I'm like okay at it, but alright, this should be good enough for you. Bye!